Um, Cal Corla, I, I, I too have been reading the, uh, this report that has come out from the government uh, dealing with uh, the problems that um, uh, mortgage holders are having in repaying their mortgages and there's uh, 41 recommendations in it. There's going to be a lot of letters written back and forth between lenders and borrowers, but the only firm recommendation that I can see in it uh, is the one that says that the one-year moratorium on legal action uh, by lenders, uh, that that cannot be uh, extended. And I must say that that stands in stark contrast to what we are learning now about the real situation in NAMA. Uh, Taoiseach, uh, yesterday there were two articles, one in the Irish Times and one in the Irish Independent, both of which appear to be based on uh, fairly well-informed uh, briefings, uh, and both uh, stating that the, what we were told in the original business plan uh, for NAMA turns out not to be uh, the case at all. In the original business plan for NAMA, uh, we were told uh, that 40% of the loans uh, which would be transferred to NAMA would be performing loans, uh, that they would be cash flow uh, generating. Um, it turns out, uh, if the reports are accurate, uh, that it's not 40% of the loans, that it's 25%, and that as a consequence, uh, the projections which were made uh, for NAMA uh, will not now be fulfilled. The Minister for Finance came into the House when he was proposing the NAMA legislation and told us all that NAMA would wash, his, would, would wash its face. Uh, we now, to, we, we are, uh, and would make a profit, we were told 4.8 uh, billion would be the profit. Uh, if, a, if these reports are accurate, that could now turn out to be uh, a loss of uh, several hundred uh, million. So the first question that I want to ask you, Tishuk, is, is it true, is that the case, that in fact it's not 40% uh, of the loans uh, which are uh, performing, that it's, uh, it's only 25% uh, based on, on the case-by-case um, uh, uh, analysis that's been done by, uh, by NAMA. Um, secondly, uh, if that is true, can you explain to us why the original business plan that was presented here for NAMA has turned out to be a bit of a financial fairy tale? Uh, and that when the legislation was introduced and when the Minister for Finance came before us here and asked us to approve NAMA, uh, that he did so on the basis uh, of projections which now turn out uh, not to be accurate. And if it is the case that they're not accurate, then can you tell us why, why that is? Is it, is it because the banks lied in providing the uh, original information on which the 40% estimate was made? Or is it the case uh, that the developers were messing in the period between the time uh, that NAMA was first announced and the time that the first loan was transferred uh, to, uh, to NAMA. Did we see a situation where uh, after NAMA has announced that uh, uh, there was a certain amount of financial hanky-panky going on and uh, you know, people decided that maybe you know, if, if the taxpayer was going to end up uh, taking on this burden that perhaps this particular loan didn't have to be repaid at all? Is there evidence uh, of uh, a growing non-repayment from, from the time that, uh, that NAMA uh, was, um, uh, was announced? And can you tell us, when is this, I mean, th this is all based on, on reports, uh, newspaper reports. Has the government received this report from, uh, from NAMA? Uh, and if you have received the report from NAMA, can you tell us uh, when it's actually going to be published? Well, the, uh, the draft plan that, uh, as the Taoiseach calls it, uh, I think is beginning to read more and more like a daft plan. Uh, you, you, you're Minister for Finance and the uh, uh, draft or daft plan that was presented to us for, the, uh, for, for NAMA said it's going to be 40% of loans uh, we're performing. You're now acknowledging that it's, it's, 20, uh, it's 25%. Um, uh, we were originally told uh, that the discount uh, that would be applied would be 30%. Turned out, of course, that uh, when NAMA got to work on it, and as you say, worked on it, it would appear a lot more aggressively uh, than anybody in government worked on it. Uh, it turns out that the, uh, uh, that the discount is uh, significantly more than that. I mean, the, the, the real situation here is that 
you know, what you have presented to us, what has been, what was presented to us uh, repeatedly by government in respect of NAMA has turned out in the cold light of day not to be accurate. You've been way off. You were way off on the numbers of performing loans. You were way off. You were way off on the uh, on the discounts. Uh, you're way off. Uh, you're way off uh, on in respect of uh, where NAMA will end up as to whether it will make a profit. You're now talking about that. There's two scenarios. It might make a profit, and it might make a uh, it might make a, it, it, it might make a loss. The reality, T-shirt, seems to me that you don't know from one month to the next. Uh, where you're going with this and, 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 where it's, and where it's going to end up. Other than that, uh, the uh, taxpayer uh, of this country for decades to come is going to have to shoulder the burden uh, of the mess uh, that you have uh, created and that you've allowed uh, to continue. Um, what exactly? You said to us that, um, you know, that... that, that question. Yes, a limited time for me to question. Mr. Oh yes, can Corda. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you for your thank you for your help, Can Corda. You you said uh, you said Taoiseach, that um, uh, that you expected that uh, Nama would still make a profit. Can you tell us what is your estimate of the profit that Nama will make? 